hi guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to turn your old laptop or pc into a nas server using true nas so you just need to follow me i will show you guys step by step how to do it so at first you just need to open your browser and you just need to go to this website to download true nas so the website is called truenas.com after I go to this website you just need to click over here get true nas and here you will get an option called download TrueNAS uh, core so click on that and here if you if you want to join community then you can join from here otherwise you can click over here and here you will get the download link so click on that and as you can see it is downloading so I will cancel it because I have already downloaded on my computer also you have to download Rufus uh, bootable USB uh, maker so you just need to go to this website and download this portable version and you can also use uh, means download standard version so i will use uh, in this video portable version so i will click over here so after download uh true nas iso and rufus so as you can see here is my two files over here also you have to insert your usb pen drive so here it is in my case as you can see so i will uh, double click on this rufus exe file first of all and click on yes click on no and here you just need to select your pen drive means usb boot uh, usb pen drive and from here you just need to select disk or iso image now click on select and you just need to select iso file of truenas now click on ok after done you just need to click on the start button click on ok now it will take some time to create your bootable usb so you have to wait for a few minutes now after done you just need to insert this to your uh, pc or laptop where you want to install your nas so firstly you just need to insert your lan cable means network cable and here i'm using two usb pen drive which is one for bootable true nas usb and another one is for TrueNAS drive where I will install the TrueNAS. So let's insert both of them one by one. And now you just need to go to your BIOS and you just need to disable secure boot on your BIOS. And after that, you just need to boot from your USB pen drive. Now boot from your USB and press enter now. Now here you just need to press enter to install an upgrade and here you just need to press space button from your keyboard to select your pen drive where you want to install and after that press enter from your keyboard now click on yes means press enter to yes Now you just need to put your password, after put the password you just need to press tab to confirm the password. You can put anything, in my case I am putting here 123. Now press enter and here you just need to select boot via UEFI. Okay, after that press enter. After installation done, you will get this screen. So press enter. Now remove your USB bootable pen drive from your laptop or PC. And here you just need to select uh, reboot system. And after that, press enter. And on this window, you will get your newly created NAS true NAS server IP address. If you are not getting any IP address, then you just need to press 1 and press enter. Once again, you just need to press 1, then press enter from your keyboard. And here you just need to type Y and press enter. And after that, you will get your IP address, TrueNAS IP address over there. So here is my main computer from where I will access that TrueNAS uh, server. So first of all, I just need to open my browser and type my TrueNAS IP address. So in my case, it is 
0 0.161 okay after that press enter so by default username is root so i will put over here root you have to also put root over here and password which i have already said 123 so i will type over here and then login so here is the console as you can see so now what i'll do is i will create group first so for that i just need to go to accounts from my left side and click on groups okay close this one and now click on add from your right side and here you just need to put your group name in my case i will type over here technology okay so now click on submit so now as you can see technology group is successfully created now i'll click on user to create a new user so as you can see the root is already showing over here so i will create a new account so i'll click on add then here i just need to put my username uh so username i will type over here test okay test is my username and you can put your email id over here so right now i am not putting any email id over here so i will put my password which is one two three okay same as it is and you just need to put the confirm password same password one two three as you can see so now here you just need to uncheck this option which is new primary group and you have to select uh, the uh, i will select the group which i've already created so in my case it is technology okay you just need to select your group and here you just need to uncheck other and read write permission group i will give the group all the permission group and user and after that i will click on submit okay so click on submit so as you can see my test user is showing over here now i will go to the services and so here i just need to enable smb to share my files with windows pc or laptop so i have to enable smb service so for that you just need to turn on this option okay so after that you just need to go to a uh, storage then pools to create your shared drive okay so i will click on add after I go to the pools and here i will create a new pool so click on this option create pool so now here i will type my pool name which is in my case technology pool okay you can put any name over here and after that you just need to select the your shared drive means which drive you want to share and click on right arrow after select click on right arrow and now here also you have to check this option and then check force and here you just need to check confirm then continue then create pool and now it is done as you can see technology pool is showing over here okay so now i will share this technology pool so for that i just need to go to sharing under sharing you will get windows shares so here you just need to click on add then expand and then select technology pool which you have created so i will select here technology pool then i have to click on submit now click on enable services after that close this window so now i will access this technology pool drive from my windows computer so let me show you so i will go to uh, my computer means this pc and type over here double slash then ip address of your uh, true nas server in my case it is 182.168.0.161 as you can see so after that press enter and it will uh, show you this prompt so you just need to put your username so in my case it is test and the password 123 and i will click on ok as you can see i'm getting that uh, technology pool folder so now if you want to add this means map this technology folder on your my computer then just go to your my computer and click on this three dot button and click on map network then paste that address over here and after that you just need to click on browse select your technology pool folder and here just need to click on finish and after that it will show on your my computer so from this console you can access your uh, true nas server console from the cell option all and uh, you can also check the processes which is running on your uh, true nas uh, uh, true nas server and you can easily 
uh, select this display system processes to check your uh, services which is running on your TrueNAS server and you can also create virtual machines under your TrueNAS server so you just need to click on add out after that you just need to select your operating system then you can easily install from here so i hope this quick tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or question then comments down below i will see you guys in the next one next video till then bye bye take care